I'm Susanna Pollock, president of Games for Change, and we are here in New York City at the Games for Change Festival. Games for Change is a leading advocate for the use of video games and immersive technology as drivers of social impact. And this community has grown so much in the last 19 years that we are now reaching people all over the world who are interested in this possibility of how games and now also immersive media can be used to make the world a better place. Games in XR offer a great opportunity for a player to develop empathy. When you sit in an immersive experience and you have this whole world around you and you are seeing that experience through the lens of somebody else, that experience of perspective taking is so important to develop empathy. The XR Brain Jam is a really unique experience where we're bringing together VR developers along with researchers and scientists. They are able to develop concepts, they'll be able to build prototypes, get feedback from experts, and what we really hope to happen is forge relationships that will continue outside of this experience. Accessibility is an issue that the games industry really have embraced over the last several years. And it's a really important one for developers to understand that you need to think about it from the ground up. My name is Mark Ioli. I'm a game designer. We're here at Games for Change in New York City. Not a lot of games have full accessibility in mind. The approach we had was to find a game that was very familiar with, with everyone and kind of systematically reprogram it with accessibility throughout. We took a card game and made the iconography bigger, images bigger, subtitles for all the, the players. When thinking about what gear we wanted to use for designing our game, there's a lot of options out there. And something that stood out to us with, with HTC is, is a lot of features and functionality for accessibility. And that's why we chose it. We used the Vive Pro i and also implemented a face tracker and an eye tracker. You can go in and, and see uh, these other players, see their eyes, see their faces moving. Implementing those into the game was very straightforward and, and easy to do. And we're really excited for, for everyone to get a chance to play it. I'm so proud of the, of the work we've done and, and what we've built. We really hope that, that game designers, game developers take note of how an audience reacts to something like this that's built for 100% of people. My hope as a game designer is that companies like HTC keep enabling players to play these games to their fullest extent. By bringing together creators along with subject matter experts, you have this magic that can happen. And new ideas are formed and people are encouraged and pushed and inspired to create something new that perhaps never existed before. There are so many positive and exciting things in immersive technology, and we just want to help build these communities and help them foster best practices and relationships to help it grow. Mm -hmm.